Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of solving rate problems. This is standard 7.4D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So, Yvette uses 6 grams of tea leaves to make 24 fluid ounces. So last week she made 288 fluid ounces. So how many grams of tea leaves did she use to make tea last week? So there's two different ways that we can solve this problem. First, if we want to, we can try to find the constant of proportionality, right? So let's take a look at our basic equation, y equals kx. So x is going to be our independent variable, and so that's what we're going to start with. So we're starting here with our 6 grams of t, right? So I'm going to say, I'm just going to kind of reverse that. So the 6 is going to be my x, and my k is k. And my independent variable is my x, so my dependent variable is going to be my y. So that's going to be what changes. Right, so I want to figure out what my k is, and we know from our mathematics chart that k equals y over x, because that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this 6, right, I'm going to divide both sides by 6. Really what I did is I just divided this x by both sides to get that k. That's where this comes from. So now that I know my constant here is 24 over 6, so 6 goes into 24 four times. So there we go. My constant is 4. So that means what I did is I took my, got my 24 fluid ounces of T by multiplying my constant of 4 by my how many grams of T? That's my independent variable. That's my 6. So what I could do is I can take this, now that I know what my constant is, I can apply this in the new situation. So last week she made 288 fluid ounces of tea, right? So let's look at that. So my fluid ounces of tea, remember, is my dependent variable. So I'm going to put that over here as y. So I'm going to say 288 equals kx. Well, I know my k is 4. My x is how many grams of tea leaves, right? That's my x like it was right here, 4x. So let's just divide both sides by 4. Since I know that, that's going to isolate x. So let's just get 4 into 288. And that's going to be 4 goes into 28 seven times. Oh, nice and even. 4 goes into 8 twice. So it looks like my answer here is 72. Now I mentioned there are two ways to solve this. Some of you might have seen this and said, all right, three numbers with labels. That means a proportion. And if you saw that, you would be correct. So I'm going to say 6 grams over 24 fluid ounces, right? And then we've got our 288 fluid ounces. We know that we put our like labels together. And let's say we're just looking for x right there. That's the grams of tea leaves. So we know that cross multiplication would work, right? So 6 times 288 equals 24x, and so we can figure out what is that 6 times 288, that's going to be 48, that's 48 plus 4, that's 52, and that is going to be 12, 17. So look at what we're left with. We're, look, we're left with this 24x equals 17, 28. In order to isolate that variable, yeah, we're going to have to divide both sides by 24. But we at least know what it should be, right? We should, should be that 72, so 17, 28. So let's say 24 goes in there seven times. It's going to be 8. That's going to be 14, 168. 168, so yeah, that's going to leave us with 4, 8, 24 goes into 48 twice, and there we go. Same answer, two different ways. You decide which way is easier for you. Either way, our answer here is C.